Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. Hey, this is a short little lesson. I'm going to show you how to square a binomial. Now, in case you forget, a binomial is two terms, like 3x and negative 5, and they're being squared. I'm going to show you how to do it, show you a shortcut, and show you a common mistake so you can avoid that kind of nonsense, right? So first of all, first of all um, exponent of 2 means that the base is being multiplied by itself. So here's the 2. The question is, what is the base? Is the base negative 5? 3x, 3x minus 5, or none of the above. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. All right, turns out the base is 3x minus 5. This 2 is the exponent for this entire group. These things are in a group because of the parentheses. So 3x minus 5 is being squared. That means it's 3x minus 5 times itself. And if you wanted to write that out, you would write 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 5. And from there, well, you know, good old foil, first, outer, inner, last. You could do that right here. So to do 3x minus 5 squared, you could write it out and then use foil. So first would be 3x and 3x, that's 9x squared. The outside would be these two. 3x and negative 5 would make negative 15x. The inside are these two, negative 5 and 3x, that's, again, negative 15x. And then the last two, a negative times a negative is positive. Be careful with that. 25. Now, make sure you put your signs for outside, inside, and last. The first one you don't really need to unless it's negative. And boom, we're done. All you got to do is write your answer out. Now, I do want to show you something though right here. Check this out. Do you see the outside and the inside? They're the same. That is what always happens when you square a binomial. The outside and the inside are exactly the, the same. And I'm going to use that to show you a shortcut that you can use to square a binomial if you like. If you prefer foil and that's what you want to keep with, though, you can rock on with your bad self. Anyway, and we write it out like this. We get first 9x squared outside plus inside, of course, is 30, negative 30x, and then the last two, negative 5. All right. So here's the thing I want to show you right here. When you have a quadratic, um, standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c. ax squared plus bx plus c. So a, b, and c are the coefficients, right? So here a is 9, b is negative 30, and c is 25. The thing that's kind of cool is that if you square a binomial, the b term is going to be double of the product of these two things right here. That's kind of cool right there. So here, let me show you. Take this out. So this is the same exact example. Using FOIL, like we know, this is what you'd get, right? But the new trick, if you took 3x minus 5 and you squared it, you still have the first. That's 9x squared. You still have the last. Negative 5 squared is plus 25. But when you do double the outside plus the inside, well, that's 2 times 3x times negative 5. If you multiply these two things together and then times 2, that's what you get, you see? Negative 15x times 2 is negative 30. Or you could do it this way, negative 6x times negative 5, negative 30, however you want to do it. So if you want to do FOIL, you want to use this trick, it's entirely up to you. I think this is kind of cool, but again, it's entirely up to whatever you're comfortable with. Now, the thing you can't do, you cannot distribute an exponent over a positive or a negative. That's not quite how it works. You can't do this right here. That would be 9x squared, and this would be minus 25 or plus 25. Uh, don't do that. That makes people very, very sad. Anyway, one more example. So check this out. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and try this one right here. 4x plus 3 squared. You can write it out any way you want. You can do FOIL. You can do the new trick. I'm going to show you the new trick. You ready? All right, here we go. So. If I do first, that's 4x times 4x, that's 16x squared, right? If I do 2 times this, so that would be 4x times 3, that would be 12. If I do double that, I get 24x, and of course the last is 9. If you want to do FOIL instead, like this, you could do that either way. So, binomial squared is that binomial times itself. You could write it like this. You could do the shortcut I just showed you. Hey, hope you learned something from this video. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.